welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at fertilisers. You only need to copy down the pages that have the notes in the top corner. There'll be a pause button as well to help you know when to do this. Remember to include the headings. If the slides have the symbol task, then there's an activity that we'd like you to do. Again, pause the video to do this. So first of all, looking at fertilisers in general. So we're going to look at what fertilisers are, why we need them and how we can investigate what if what you found is a fertiliser. So thinking first about the human population, what is happening to the number of people on the earth? The number of people on earth has increased rapidly over the last few years. If there are more and more people, what impact will this have on food? The more people there are, the more food we require. However, with a growing population, this means that the space for growing food is decreasing. This means we need to be more efficient in our food production. One way to do this is to use fertilisers. The population of humans on Earth is increasing, and this means we need more food. Farmers are trying to increase plant yield, which is how much food is grown. Pause the video now and copy these notes. On the next slide, we have some methods in the green boxes and descriptions of what those methods mean for increasing food production. Try and match up the methods to, this, to the description. If you're unsure, look closely at the words in the description and see where they are similar to those in the method. So first of all, looking at chemical fertilizers. Chemical fertilisers are chemicals that we add to the soil to try and increase the number of plants that are grown. These are artificial and man-made. Herbicides. The ending side means to kill. Herbicide is to kill plants. So these are chemicals which are used to try and kill weeds and other plants that are not required. Pesticides kill pests such as insects. Organic methods are natural resources which can be used to increase plant production, such as using horse manure. Genetic modification is where we change the DNA of a plant to make it bigger. And finally, biological control is where you use some sort of natural predator which allows the control of pests. So fertilisers can be used to increase the plant yield to grow bigger or more fruit. Or they can be used to increase the nutrient levels of the soil. Fertilisers contain three main nutrients that plants need, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. These need to be replaced into the soil where we have crops that we harvest. Pause the video now and copy these notes. So here we have a plant. How do the three different elements help this plant to grow? Potassium is used to help with the fruit and the flowers. Nitrogen is used to help grow healthy leaves. And phosphorus is used for healthy roots. When you buy a bag of fertiliser, it shows the quantities of each of the elements present. This is known as the NPK ratio. Different plants need different NPK ratios. Some plants might need more nitrogen for leaf growth. Other plants might need more potassium for flower and fruit growth. You would use the fertilizer which is appropriate to the plant that you are trying to grow. We're now going to have a look at how we can test to see what chemicals are present in fertilizers. Copy this table into your notes and then watch the flame tests. Flame tests are used to test for the presence of different metals. Each metal burns with a different colour. Here we can see lithium burning with a red flame.
This is potassium. It can be found in fertilizers and burns with a lilac flame. And this is sodium. It burns with an intense yellow-orange flame. Check that you have your table correct. You will need it for the next task. Lithium burns with a red flame. Potassium burns with a lilac flame. And sodium burns with an orange flame. So we have a chemical plant which produces fertilizers and it's been broken into with several tons of potassium nitrate fertilizer being stolen. A lab coat soaked in liquid was left behind at the scene and the police have three suspects. How can they prove who stole the potassium nitrate fertiliser? Flame tests from the samples of our three suspects are carried out and were compared against the lab coat. Watch the flame test and complete the table as you go to catch the culprit. Who has stolen the potassium nitrate fertiliser? Let's have a look at our suspect samples. The first bottle, A, was burning with an orange flame. This means that we have sodium metal. B, burnt with a lilac flame, which is potassium metal. And C, burnt with a red flame, showing that there was lithium present. This means that our suspect that has stolen the fertiliser is B. Why do we need fertilisers? What three elements are commonly found in fertilisers? And if a fertiliser were to burn like this picture below, what other metal would it contain? Pause the video now and answer these questions. So why do we need fertilisers? We need fertilisers to increase food yield. This is because we have an increasing human population in the world. What three elements are commonly found in fertilisers? We have nitrogen, potassium and phosphorus. And if a fertiliser were to burn like this picture, it would contain sodium as it's burning with an orange yellow flame. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of using fertilisers? And how do fertilisers affect water ecosystems? Here we have a picture of a plant. If we're going to use a fertiliser to help this plant grow better, then it needs to be able to get into the plant. It does this by going in through the roots. To be able to do this, fertilisers need to be soluble. This can pose some problems. When it rains, fertilisers can run off from the soil where they are needed and end up into water systems. Here we can see that fertilisers, which are used on the fields here, when it rains could run off into this river. When they go into the river, they could then end up into bodies of water such as a loch. When this happens, we're adding the fertilisers to the water. This is called eutrophication.
Scarce means that we're adding nutrients to the water. If we add too many nutrients to the water, such as nitrogen and phosphates, then we encourage algae to grow quickly. When this happens, we get something called an algal bloom. When we have an algal bloom, this reduces the amount of dissolved oxygen in the water, which eventually leads to fish deaths. By reducing the number of fertilisers that we use on fields, we can stop the ecosystem disruption by causing less algal blooms and eventually less fish deaths. You're to create an informative poster or leaflet for a farmer so they can decide whether or not to use fertilisers. If you need more help with pros and cons, you can follow the link below and you need to submit a photo of your work to the Google Classroom. Look back at your fertiliser notes and make sure you understand them. There is a link on the Google Classroom to a quiz that you can try. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. Remember to subscribe for more videos as they become available. Bye for now.